Hey guys, hope everybody's having a fantastic day. Whether you're watching this during the day, during the evening, or during the afternoon. Today I want to take a little bit of time and talk about my current top five office slash gentleman's carry knives. This is the Wii Vision R and this is not in the current top five even though it's perfect for an EDC gentleman's carry office type knife. I love this knife and carry it quite a bit but today's video is going to be focusing on what my current top five in no particular order office carries EDC knives are. And what we're going to do is we're going to start with a newer knife in my collection and that is the PMP User 2. The PMP User 2 is a fantastic office carry, fantastic gentleman's carry knife. It is very thin blade stock, very thin handle stock. It's a titanium frame lock. It's very great access to the lock bar. It's a front flipper. Very neutral looking. Smooth titanium with a very understated wire clip and then just a very utilitarian blade that comes down to a very, very sharp, keen edge in the flat grind. It's a little bit longer. I would say it's on the longer side of uh, my EDC office carry. This is my six inch NAFCO ruler. So if we wanted to see how this knife compared, it's about a three inch blade with right around a four and a half inch handle that I can get a full four finger grip on and I also have a choil that I can choke up in. But in no particular order, out of gentlemen's carries, I can even front flick this knife or middle finger flick this knife if it's not too greasy. But that is the PMP User 2 and it is a fantastic gentlemen's carry, office everyday carry. Moving on to the next one. I'd be remiss to not mention, ooh, as I fail it, not two, not three, but four times, the Wii Mini Malice Button Lock. The Wii Mini Malice Button Lock, we've talked about before, one of my top button locks, probably my in the top two button locks that I own in my collection. But this is the Wii Mini Malice 2, a knife I picked up over at Blade Show 2022 in Atlanta. It is a titanium knife with a 20 cv blade and i don't know if i mentioned but the user 2 is titanium with an m390 blade the wii mini malice is titanium with 20 cv blade very smooth button lock it is a traditional flipper but it does have this not blade groove but this choil this uh depression in the blade that allows you to get in there and middle finger flick it and then it just drops like a jewel. This knife's a little bit smaller, but it still is a medium size knife. It fits my hand, full four finger grip, my medium large size hand. And then I have this generous finger choil to get more of that blade access for any type of EDC cut. But for a gentleman's carry, um, an office carry, the clip works great in khakis, the clip works great in jeans. It doesn't take up a lot of space, and it's also a thin, slicey, able little knife. So moving on, come to a knife that I've had in my collection for quite a while as I straighten up the camera here as my OCD kicks in, and it probably doesn't make any difference. But this here is the Monterey, De the Monterey Bay Slayback. This is the original Slayback, not the extra large or the large Slayback. This knife is a flipper only deployment, but as far as detent and flippers only go, I would say this knife is probably the finest that I have in my collection. It is a great knife to use at the office. It's a great knife to carry because it's both understated and elegant. The lines are very nice. Um, the blade is ZDP 189. Um, it's very unique blade the way that it's wrapped, but the Warncliffe tip is great for some of the detail cuts I have to do at the office, cutting out labels, opening boxes, things like that. But this knife, again, is on the smaller size. Again, my medium large size hand, I can get a full four finger grip on that knife. I have a feeling if we break out our uh, 
NAFCO ruler. We're going to see the same roughly three inch blade with right around a four inch handle on this little knife. But again, a great pocket clip. Doesn't ride deep in the pocket, but rides deep enough to where it's not obtrusive at all. Um, very thin profile, very elegant, and just a great gentleman's office carry. So that is the Monterey Bay original slayback. Moving on, I would be remiss to not flash back to this one of my favorite knives from our man Dylan Mallory. This is, of course, the Forest, which from a gentleman's folder um, that's carbon fiber, that's designed for what I think my hand is laid out for. I think this is almost a perfect knife. I've always been a huge fan of this knife for a lot of other reasons than just a gentleman's or office carry, but it is a fantastic office carry knife. The knife, again, is very thin, very comfortable in hand, pocket clips, fantastic, goes in and out of pocket effortlessly, and it has a thumb hole deployment for the middle finger flick or the thumb flick. Um, again, very thin blade stock, very thin body, a little bit on the longer side, closer to the PMP than the other knives in this particular video. But as you can tell, I can get a full four finger grip on the handle. I can choke up. I can get much more access to that reverse Tonto blade. No hot spots. It just feels really good in my hand. It's a fidgety knife. It is a comfortable knife, it is an elegant knife, and most importantly, it's an able knife. It gets the job done. It's going to come in a little bit larger with the blade stock being right at three and a half inches and the handle coming in right about four and a quarter. So it's got good, good blade to handle ratio. Um, just a great knife. And that's the Dylan Mallory Forest and in our top five current EDC gentleman's carry i.e office carry this one definitely makes the list and finally as we get into our current carry list this is an older knife that's newer to my collection and it's probably one that gets as much pocket time at work as any and this is the drop ferrum forge or the ferrum forge um god i've had a mental blank i want to say it's the dow i could be wrong guys we're going we're gonna to call it the Dow for now. Um, if I have a brain fart and the name is different, I will definitely, it's the buck. So it is not the Dow. Disregard everything I said. If I was an editor, now is when I would cut it, roll it back, and act like I never said that. But this is the Fair and Forged Buck. B-U-C, the buck. And I'm not too proud to say that I called it the Dow. The reason I called it the Dow is the Dow is very similar to this knife. It's a Fair and Forge drop collaboration. The blade is similar, but it's not quite as cleavery, not quite as what I consider angry and aggressive looking, which I think this knife is. And I chose this over the Dow, and then I went back to buy the Dow, and they were sold out. So screw me. But anyway, this is a titanium knife with an S35 VN blade. It is very thin has a great pocket clip, understated, wears well in khakis or jeans. It's a traditional flipper knife that has jimping on the flipper, even though the flipper angles back to not become much of a pocket picker. It's got great access, but again, it's also got the finger hole, you know, the deployment hole in the blade, which makes me, my choice deployment method is the middle finger flick, which is how I deploy this knife. But you'll notice, it being medium sized, I can get a full four finger grip on the knife. I've got a very generous finger choil, which gives me access to this tip and the rest of the blade. This knife, guys, in an office or an urban setting, fits the bill. Um, hats off to Fair and Forge for a fantastic design. Hats off to We for a fantastic manufacturing job. And hats off to drop to do whatever the fuck they do in the scenario, except add money to the knife. But all three of them, trifecta of love. So anyway, guys, that is five of what I would consider my top everyday carry office gentlemen's knives that not only bring me joy, but they actually 
handle whatever my job, my task is going to be. And I do work in an office, but I do cut quite a bit of shit. So I don't want to forget the honorable mention, which if it hadn't been in videos recently, our um, Vision R, which is also a fantastic office carry. We'll call it the honorable mention. I'm sure we'll see more of it as I continue to use it. I love that knife. But guys, most importantly, I love all of you. I love you that you stop by, that you check out the videos. I love it when I see you guys and gals in chats. I love it that we're all part of the knife community. So I do ask that you look out for the guy or gal to your left, that you look out for the guy or gal to your right. Basically, just look out for each other. Choose debate over hate every time, guys. I love you all. Peace.